So just to take a few moments and talk about putting all of this together, both passive and active reconnaissance, to produce an overall research strategy. So we're going to use these various techniques to footprint the entire organization structure and network. And I guarantee if you spend enough time and put enough effort and careful thought, again, thinking outside the box, into this, that you would be able to walk away from this process with tons of information related to the penetration test or the ethical hacking exercise. So this is probably one of the most important steps in the entire methodology process when performing black box testing on a network or a target because your actions are going to be based off the information that you gather at this point. Now in a white box test, generally we don't perform these techniques, again, unless someone says, hey, we're interested to see what kind of information you can find out about us without us knowing about it. But there again, that's more of a black box scenario. In a white box scenario, this information is going to be purely additional. This should be provided to you by the organization that's requesting the penetration test or the hacking exercise. And the overall concept behind both passive and active reconnaissance is to gather that publicly available information or information that might be easily extracted about our target, that being a user, organization, or a group of users. We're going to go ahead and take this information to try to lay out the network, the boundaries of the organization, and find those weaknesses in the organization where a penetration point might be possible. When we're trying to gather information, what we're going to be looking for is information that can be used for social engineering and for research purposes, ultimately leading to very critical and specific information about systems. We're going to start out with the basic stuff, names, addresses, phone numbers, titles, various information about company personnel. We also want to find out IP addresses, the domain structure, whether that be public and private. A great example of that is in the past, some internal email addresses were referenced, where it might be, for example, one email address for internal and one email address for outside the company, some of that information will slip across, whether it be where a person forwards an email to an internal and external person. Those are the type of things you're looking for. And we're looking to extract the layout of the infrastructure, maybe software that's being used from within the company. Oftentimes, you can look at the source code of a website, and it will carry the signature of the program used to generate it. And if we look for vulnerabilities in the way that program creates and generates that web content, then we're going to be able to identify weaknesses in the armor of that organization. And like I mentioned, this is going to be the feed point for everything that follows.